It's such a parrot rainbow storm report in the Horsham district. The final series is well and truly on after two rounds. And we've got big Peter Weir with us to talk about it. G'day, Weary. How are you? Yeah, going well, thanks, Wayne. And yeah, it wasn't a great start to the finals campaign last weekend for the Chapart Rainbow senior boys. But yeah, lucky this week's flown by pretty quick and we've got another opportunity tomorrow against Naradua Quantong. You certainly do. It was great to be in the region during the week and catch up with you out in the farm and, and meet the family and so forth. And just my thoughts um, that with uh, all of your family uh, following the passing of your uh, beloved grandfather. But um, a, look, a, a very, very big week now for you guys because not only do you have to uh, sort some sheep out, but you've got to sort some sheep out out on the field because you were nailed last week, Weary. You were nailed by Harrow Morrill. They absolutely took you to the cleaners. 17, 17, 119 to 5, 6, 36. Yeah, tough outing, Flo, man. I thought the tempo from both teams in the first quarter was at a great level, as you'd expect in a big final. But um, yeah, unfortunately for us, Harrow were just able to hit the scoreboard where we weren't. Second quarter was similar, but um, Harrow were once again able to open that margin up a little bit. But then, yeah, after half time, we were found wanting a little bit slow, man. And, yeah, the foot didn't come off the pedal from the Harrow boys. And, yeah, with their good decision making and clean ball movement, they um, sort of made us look slow. And going into the game, that was going to be one of our strengths that maybe we could match them with pace. But, yeah, the Harrow boys showed us a clean set of heels, slow, man, and, and run out easy winners in that final. I did talk about Plush um, the last week with you. I said that uh, he's uh, one of their side, uh, in their side, that you may not call first. You may say, you're oh, peaking. You might then go to Michael Close but I think he played a very good game but Michael Close uh, I didn't pick him in their best players I'm led to believe that he clung to a whole heap of marks and was the difference between the sides I definitely would have had uh, Michael Close in my better players I think he really controls the back line I think Harrow's a lot better side with him at centre half back rather than up the other end he started the first few years back at Harrow in the forward line but they look a more complete side with him in the back line and Will Plush has been a great player for a long time, so, man, I think the opponents who play against him, he might not get the recognition through the papers or the media or whatever, but I think his opponents know he's a good player. And in a final, he's always clean. He puts his head over the ball and he wins the ball out to their playmakers. And um, when he does have the chance to finish a goal or hit a target, he always does. So, yeah, great finals player and a great game from Will Plush. It certainly was. I was in the butcher shop in uh, Federal Street, Rainbow, talking to Plugger Clugston, and I said to Cluggo, as I call him, how are you going? You're going to make a comeback for the final series, you old fella. And he said, no, no, but Simon, his brother, didn't need any comebacks. He was magnificent in defence. Yeah, I think Simo Clugson by far was our best player. Probably the only player we had out there who could truly say he's won his position, play man, but... He was up against a good player in James Stoudy, and Stoudy might have kicked two or three, but against anyone else, Flo Man Stoudy would have probably kicked his bag of seven or eight. So Simo was a shining light in defence, but yeah, he'll know very well that he's got to move on and get the job done this weekend again. Oh, it's a big job to get done, that is for sure. I, I actually had picked you to win it, and I don't don't know where you now make that difference up um, to go again against him, but you've got to first get past an Aratua Quantong side who are on a roll. 15 9 99 Rapania 13 11 89 a thrilling final last year's premier side I'll tell you what they have um, done well to make it this far because they were indifferent through the early part of the season uh, they never got their big Ford Musgrove back onto the field and as a result they've got knocked out here in a very big elimination yeah, halfway through the season, the Rupp boys might have thought they would struggle to play finals. And, um, yeah, I think on the back of their coach, a bit of credit's deserved here. Braden Ice, and he probably had a slow start. And then halfway through the year, he, he really stood up as a player and as a coach. And he really carried his team right the way forward, right to the end of this final. Because, yeah, I think he stood up and kicked five goals. I think the scrappy affair and the intensity of this affair probably saluted us. Uh, Suited and Radua Quantong early in that game, Flow Man. But yeah, once the Rapanyat boys were able to get their hands on the ball and get it to ice, and they nearly made up the difference. But yeah, the Quantong boys hung on for a 10 point win. 
Yeah, they certainly did. I'll tell you what, the Wiedemann boys, uh, famous in that part of the world, uh, tried their heart out as Elliot um, uh, De Kelly did too. Wade Francis, a uh, very good player, and D- Dylan Bushby, both in it for Narajo Kwantung. They'll be two to watch out for for this week's match. We'll go to the other grades and quick look through uh, the finals here into the reserves. And uh, it was a very good performance here uh, on the weekend. To get away, it was Harrow 9-10 to Narajo Kwantung 5-6. But I got a feeling that they those two could still meet in the grand final. Yeah, they've been the standout reserves teams all year, Flo Man. So I think uh, the Quanny boys will be too good this weekend and set up a rematch in that grand final against the Harrow team, which shows both teams have got great depth as well. Yeah, and of course, Kalki 7749 to Pimpanaya 5737. The keys get through and Naratua Kwantung, their opponent. Going over now to the under 17s. So this is um, that last week's uh, semi finals action. And Pimpanaya 23 16 to 8 3 over Kalki. And Harabamol. 9-13 to Natimak, 11-7. That was the game. Natimak gets through over Harrow Balmoral. Big surprise there in that under-17s match. Yeah, that was an upset to see the Natimak uh, boys get through, Flow Man. But, yeah, it was pretty smooth sailing from Pimpin Isle in the first final. I, I rocked up to the game and I thought, geez, these boys have got to be a good chance to win our grand final. And, yeah, I wasn't expecting a similar result in the seniors. But, uh, yeah, Pimpin Isle way too good. Winning by 100 points uh, against Cal Key in the under-17s. Yeah, Natty Mark and Cal Key in a final too. That could be an absolute beauty this weekend. Hard to pick that one. Maybe Natty Mark's on a roll. Yeah, I think if you take some good form and some um, good wins in the finals, that's a, always hard to stop that momentum. And Cal Key will have to do that if they want to get back into the grand final. All right. Now, let's go back now to the 14s from last week. And the little fellas from Canaveli or the Cougar Boys, 5-5-35 over Naradjo Kwantong, 4-7-31. Into the grand final, those Cougar Boys go. Yeah, the Caniva under-14s have become the main event over there at Caniva Flow Man. And, um, yeah, you can rely on those boys to always go well in the finals and make a grand final. And they've done that again this year. So well done to those lads. And they'll wait to see who they have to play in that big match over the weekend um, at the home ground of Caniva where the prelims will be played. 5 12, 42 to Rupp over Eden Hope, three points. So it will be Narantua Quantong playing Rupp in that game. Now, it was... Um this disappointing for your under-17s and under-15 girls. Um, they got through after memorable wins the week before in the eliminations, um, but they just weren't able to go that one step further to a prelim because uh, they just come up against two very good sides. Yeah, they both had great upset wins last week, Flow Man, which um, yeah, brought great excitement to the club. But yeah, unfortunately, on the weekend just gone, they were a little bit um, outplayed by the two opposition teams. But yeah, a great effort by all the coaches and all the girls involved. And it'll still take great confidence into next year and for their netball development to have gone out there and won those finals. Yeah, absolutely. It was great to be in Federal Street um, and um, having a chat. I was in the, the uh, IGA there and uh, got down the street and uh, got up Mally Magic and had a, a very nice vanilla slice and a pie um, at uh, the Bow Bakery. And uh, Carolyn said to uh, make sure your uh, Cheerio is sent out. So there you go. I've done that beautifully. And weary. There's a whole heap of young blokes that accosted me in the main street. Uh, and uh, there are all these young group of fellas in the under-17s and under-14s uh, down there at uh, Japan Rainbow. And they're looking forward, they said, they told the flow man, they said, we are looking forward to next season. They can't wait for another season of footy. Yeah, you're a bit of a celebrity in Rainbow, flow man. And, yeah, the young stars uh, love how you report on their footy. And, um, yeah, they got that great enthusiasm, the infectious enthusiasm that you want in kids of that age and yeah, they've got the skills to go with it so um, watch out for the future generations of the Japan Rainbow Boys being pretty well carried by that group of lads Yeah, fantastic uh, group, well mannered too, love it when young men uh, in the street shake your hand uh, it's uh, a really, really good sign uh, they've been uh, beautifully brought up by their parents and good stuff from those kids. Now, let's get back to the deal and it's the big one, it's a massive game I've said it all about how I thought you were going to beat the top side last week. I was shattered, but that's all right because you've got Naradjua Kwantong. There's two blokes here I want to mention. One called Cam Bruce, another one called Brock Orville, who used to be over at those Southern Mallee Giants. And are they going to be, with Bushby kicking goals, are they going to be too much for your blokes this week? Oh, they're definitely going to be a couple to watch. I think Brock out of the centre is a real bull in there and he'll be keen to get forward and have an impact in a final after missing last week through suspension. And 
Cam Bruce is starting to slow down a bit, slow man, but he always finds his best footy against the Depart Rainbow boys. And I think, um, yeah, he's got clean hands and good skills, so he'll look to hit the scoreboard for Quantong. But, yeah, our boys are keen to get back out there and bounce back after that heavy loss last week. Well, I have a pie and a vanilla slice, and I like to listen to conversations and uh, ask questions, as you know, uh, when one's in the main street at Federal Street, and you get a good bit of feedback. They tell me last week the big fella down four, D was uh, hoped for about four or five goals. Goals. He had about three on him most of the day and he wasn't getting a kick. So how does a big Peter Weir get a kick this week? Oh, I need to find a way to get into the game flow, man. I was one of those um, blokes who was pretty well beaten last week, but I really think the game will start in the midfield. Dan Batson will go into the ruck because Matty Thomas hasn't come up from a back injury. And I think um, a few of the midfielders were down last week. I think Tommy Clark's had a great season, so look for him to bounce back. Nick Yarren needs to bring that energy that he plays for and gets um, gets on the scoreboard as well. And I think Scotty Driscoll will be keen as a coach really to set the tempo. So once again, we need a good start. When we met Naradjo Quantong earlier in the year, we started slow and we just couldn't get that margin back all day. So look for both teams to see the importance in that quick start. And I think, yeah, perfect conditions forecast at Caniva and it should be once again a, a great final. I reckon it is. And uh, here you got some changes to your side. I see that Braxton uh, Matt comes in. Nathan Cox goes out with an injury and uh, also I know Matt Thomas one of your big men out but Braxton and our match should cover him so uh, that's a, a bit of a change and also I think Stokes is out of your side from last week yeah, unfortunately, Stokes, he hasn't come up with an ankle injury. But, um, yeah, Geordie Leach will take his spot in the back pocket. And he's um, yeah, had a great season up until he broke his collarbone, but he's fully recovered from that. Nathan Cox, unfortunately, is out with looks like a nasty knee injury. He was um, had a great start to the final last week, so he's a big loss. But Justin Cousins comes into the team, and not so long ago, he was named our best finals player, Flowman. So he knows all about playing a big final. And as you mentioned, Braxton and Ahmad will come into the team, and he'll be able to bolster our tall stock. So, so like for like replacements and yeah still definitely a best uh, a good enough 21 to get the job done on the weekend get the job done you must against Naradju or Kwantong and have another dip at Harrow Balmoral over there at Caniva Cougars land it's going to be a huge day of Horsham District football and Big Peter Weir I'm looking forward to the results coming through and um, I'll tell you what um, if you don't win this Weary there's always that beautiful tennis court you've got out there on the farm you could just maybe take up uh, summer tennis this year well, I'm keen to get in this grand final, so, man. I think it's been 25 years since the club's played in a grand final, so a whole generation of Japarat Rainbow players have missed out on that opportunity, and there's none bigger in front of us on the weekend, so, man. So I think the tennis can wait for a couple of weeks, and now uh, let's get the job done out on the footy field. Well, looking forward to it. It's a big Peter Weir. It's great to have your company. We'll catch you next week. Thanks very much, Wayne.